User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at Uketastic.com. Hi, it's Mike again with Uketastic. Today I'm sitting down with Randy Ellis. Randy is the lead ambassador for the Amsterdam, Chicago, Amsterdam, not Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Chicago, uh, user community. Hi Randy, uh, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. Hey Mike, nice to meet you again. We saw each other at the GoTo uh, conference here in Chicago, the first one here actually in Chicago, and it was a great time meeting you and to learn more about Utastic. Uh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, and it was great to learn about Amsterdam. I interviewed Mike Lee while I was there, and uh, I kind of got a good idea of just how much, uh, how big this movement was I had never heard of before, but can you tell me a little bit about how you got into Amsterdam and, and what, what is Amsterdam and what is it doing here in Chicago? Uh, I'd just like to first comment uh, on your interview with Mike Lee. That was a great interview that uh, you had with him. And uh, Mike's just a, a great guy. Uh, I, I got to meet him later on in the process, and we'll definitely go into that later on in the interview. But uh, great guy. Uh, and then to go into your other questions about how I became interested in Amsterdam. Uh, the, the funny, that how the journey started is initially I was going to create my own organization. Uh, I came from a business internship back in 2011 and I felt once I commenced out of that program, I felt that we needed a more uh, community base in regards to people learning different technologies, different platforms and, and different experiences when it came to technology. So I started doing my research and started saying, hey, you know, maybe I can start this on my own. But then, of course, that became a very heavy lifting project within itself, very cumbersome. And you know how it is as far as, uh, you know, when you're starting your own business. You know, so I had other projects, other interests that was also in parallel with that. So then I started digging a little deeper as far as what currently exists uh, here in Chicago or just in the country for that matter. And... You know, other, other organizations that I came across and I looked at their uh, criteria, I looked at their requirements, and, you know, some of them even, you know, they had, like, membership fees, and I didn't feel like that was, you know, necessary uh, when it came to a person wanting to learn. I wanted to make sure that uh, everything was free of access. Uh, knowledge is free at the end of the day. We have the Internet now. It's not like we have to go to the library 15-some-odd years ago and, and learn about a specific uh, topic of interest. Now, at a push of a button, we have instant gratification as far as how much information that you want to learn. Of course, doing your proper due diligence because, you know, <laughs> you, yeah. can, you, you can, can be get, a, you get overwhelmed. Exactly. Or lose focus. Oh, exactly. You know, so uh, after, you know, I did my proper due diligence, uh, Amsterdam was a clear choice. I, I said, hey, um, you know, I want to learn more about this company and uh, they, they recently finished doing, uh, it was one particular event, I want to say WWDC, not this year, but the year prior. So I started, you know, looking at their press in regards to that and I said, hey, you know, do they have a organization or do they have a community here in Chicago? And of course, didn't see it. So I was like, hey, this is a no-brainer. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, this is, you know, Chicago is a budding uh, technology ecosystem with a lot of people, a lot of talent, a lot of cre creativity. So it was just uh, me going uh, and contacting Amsterdam. So I took the shot. I uh, corresponded with them, sent an email out to them saying, hey, you know, my name is Randy Ellis, yada, 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 yada. And I would like to bring a embassy here to Chicago. So after that, Honestly, I didn't expect to hear anything back, <laughs> you know, so maybe I, I think maybe a couple of weeks went by and then I got a uh, response from uh, Aleem and Aleem is the embassy coordinator and he came over. Uh, he didn't come over, but he responded back to me and said, hey, we think that's an awesome idea. Let's talk over Skype. Uh, I had a talk with Aleem as well as Paul Darcy, who was the CEO of, um, of Amsterdam. And we just took it and ran from there. I started uh, getting the embassy kit information, and here we are today. So it sounds like it's a lot more than just, oh, I'm going to slap a logo on my user group and call it Amsterdam. Uh, there's, I mean, you described the concept of embassy, ambassadors, CEO, 
So it sounds like it's a, it's a lot more um, organized than a typical organiza uh, <laughs> user group organization. Um, so is is the way what 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 when you say that you're an ambassador here and there's embassy here in Chicago, what what does that mean? Well, typically, what that means is we are uh, we call ourselves a meta organization. Uh, that's you know part of our mission. And what that means, for those that don't know, is a meta organization is part is, is, is of an umbrella. And then you have little embassies with under that umbrella, sort of like subsidiaries. And, and that entity kind of runs itself. It governs itself uh, within its own world. Uh, we still follow the same mission. We still follow the same goals. We still have the same uh, advocacy that we would if we were the headquarters in the Netherlands. But we apply our own culture. You know, if you look if, if you closely look at all of our embassies uh, overseas and different countries and as well as different uh, cities, if you look at our logos, our logos incorporate our culture. So if you look at the Chicago uh, Amsterdam, you'll notice the water tower logo with the Chicago stars. Uh, if you look at um, Amsterdam, you will see different icons of their culture. So we kind of morph, we embrace our culture because we don't want to bring a culture that is not of ourselves from where we're from. Because that. So you have there's the there's the style, the theme, the encompassing organization, but each individual uh, region has its own identity that still retains it belongs to. It's part of this greater whole, but while still. Uh, uh, maintaining its unique flavor. Exactly. So, you know, with that, um, embracing our own culture, we're able to engage people a little bit more. We're not uh, coming in as aliens or outside uh, people trying to uh, occupy something that we don't know about. I'm Chicago born and raised, so I know all the great spots as far as where to get a, a, a great beer. I know the great, you know, bars where we can do meetups at. So, what we do is that we want to indoctrinate the culture as much as, po as, much as possible when it comes to Amsterdam and those embassies uh, within those particular cities or countries. So do you meet monthly or is it, how, how do the meetups work and, and where, do you, where do you meet at? That's a great question. Uh, when it comes to uh, Amsterdam, Chicago in particular, we do monthlies and mm -hmm. what we want to do is start increasing the frequency of those uh, meetups. I, I just wanted to test uh, our market to see if there was interest. We launched back in March at the Creative Chicago Expo uh, at the Cultural Center, and we had some uh, great uh, response from that. We had about 60 people sign up uh, to be advocates and, and support Amsterdam, and then we started our meetup group, uh, which is Amsterdam.meetup.com. I hope I got that right. Uh, um, but we'll adjust it in the, in, the, in the show notes. Great. And... Um, and then we have, uh, right now, we currently have about 47 people in the meetup right now. So roughly, we have over 100 advocates right now for uh, supporting Amsterdam, Chicago, and, and its uh, mission. Cool. Now, one of the things we talked about earlier was that there's a, a project that's coming out of Amsterdam, Chicago, the local UX. And I thought it was kind of interesting how you would be having a, an actual physical product coming out of the community how does that work, and what 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 exactly is that product? That's great, man. And just to backtrack real briefly, uh, you know, pretty much with Amsterdam, what we what we do is that not only are we an organization of people that develop uh, things, or in our spare time, or whenever we have a moment within our regular nine to fives, but we want to, uh, I guess encourage people to constantly develop and create great things regardless of what their time is. So for an example, best example, before I go into local Lux, is uh, Mike Lee. You know, he created uh, Lumen's uh, Chemistry, uh, if you're familiar with that iPad game. And that mm -hmm. was something uh, that was created externally of Amsterdam, but it was powered by the ingenuity and the creativity inside of the, the Amsterdam uh, ecosystem. So it's kind of like we represent our, our companies through Amsterdam. Um, if you go to localluxapp.com, uh, which is the company, if you scroll down to the bottom, 
you'll see a, a, a URL that says powered by Amsterdam. And that's the thing that I want to continue to push uh, throughout uh, any projects that I get behind because not only am I representing myself, but I'm also representing Amsterdam in regards to what we release. Now, just to get into uh, Local Lux, uh, that particular project is something that's been in the making since late last year. It's a hyper local marketplace for independent uh, makers. So if you, for instance, um, love to make uh, handbags, I don't know why, but just for an example. But well, you got to carry yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Pockets only get these so much. Right, or book bags or laptop bags. And, and, and you're an independent manufacturer and you just are, you want to cast a wider net. You want to be able to get your product out there. Yes, we have things that, that currently exist in the marketplace. We have Etsy. Uh, we have other uh, independent uh, markets. We have another one, uh, Square Market, just released about a month and a half ago. But it's not really a hyper-local experience. And that's where I feel that there's an absence. Because from a local perspective, I feel we have a social obligation to not only the global community, but also your own backyard. You want to make sure that money is flowing throughout your local economy and propping it up. Because once you spend a dollar at Walmart, you don't really know where that money is actually going at the end of the day. And, you know, facts are there is that every dollar that's spent at a big box corporation, 45, 45 cents of that uh, goes to, you know, corporate jets or you know, uh, they're... All they're, kinds of stuff. Exactly. It's not know, going to the manufacturer, the, the, the creator, the maker. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you look at the numbers, you will actually be able to see if you support your local economy through uh, buying uh, local produce from farmers markets. And you see that that money, actually, that dollar is, is, is extended out, able to have better communities. You ever have, you, you have better schools, better... Uh, policing, better environments for children, and, 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 and overall have a, a better a family environment. Uh, so that's my advocacy with Local Lux, and you know we're accepting people to come on uh, and be alpha testers. We have about 100 people right now, and it's just a great experience. Uh, we're uh, just one more thing. We are in the, in the middle of a crowdfunding contest, and we have about 17 days left, and we're actually in first place. Uh, oh, really? We have uh, we're about thirty about thirty percent funded right now, and uh, we're just smoking the competition right now. So, you know, if anybody would you know love to assist, you can definitely go to our website uh, localluxapp.com and follow the prompts as far as being able to pledge. I can't promise that this is going to be deployed before then, but uh, <laughs> deployed. That's I'm a developer, <laughs> but published this. But but uh, I'll try to get a link out. But the um. The, the thing that interests me about that is when I talked to Mike Lee, uh, that it was focused on uh, that Amsterdam was a business that was aware of the community that it was in, and, and there was the study that was done by the University of Amsterdam or Helsinki. Sorry for uh, whoever is uh, goes to those. Uh, I, I apologize to any alumni of either one of those institutions if I got it wrong, but uh, that. Uh, uh, that there were studies about how these technical communities can um, support and prop up their local community, their local businesses. Is that kind of where the idea for Local Lux came from, is saying, okay, we're, we're focused on our own regional community, and that was kind of the instigator? And and how how does it work with Amsterdam? Is, is this a product that is developed underneath the Amsterdam um, brand, or how does that work? Uh, so there's two answer, questions there. Yeah, I'll answer the first question. Uh, essentially, the, the what we want to do with Amsterdam is we want to say we're, I wouldn't say in charge, but we have a responsibility to support, uh, you know, our own local. We, we can only reach out so far. Uh, when it comes to your own backyard, you are the surveyor, you are the protector, you are the advocate for where you live. So before that report actually even came out, um, you know, I was already on that advocacy uh, coming from my business program because we're very strong supporters of being community leaders. Um, our, the business program that I was a part of, we actually made a, a creed that we want to have a thousand community leaders by 2017. 
And with that, I kind of uh, put myself in a position to say, hey, not only do I, you know, want to become a, 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 an, an aspiring serial entrepreneur, uh, also of a great successful business, but I also want to support my community at the same time. So during my, my research, you know, I wanted to be able to say, hey, this is a great company. Now, you know, that is, you know, capitalistic, you know, we're a business, we have to raise money, but you know where that money is going. It's going to the advocacy of supporting our own city, supporting our own state, and supporting the underdogs, because we don't get much um, uh, notoriety or, or press when it comes to people uh, that we represent that's in the basements of their homes, uh, doing one or two handmade items or, you know, that person that's really, you know, just can only do it in their spare time. We want to be able to give them a voice and give them a platform to actually say, hey, here's a smartphone app that people can uh, embrace and see what you're offering and pay for it and, 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 and get that experience. Uh, the second question is, well, uh, can you repeat well, that? Well, yeah, it was um, that you're launching this product and it's, and it's powered by Amsterdam, but how does that work? Is it is it being released underneath the the um, trademark of Amsterdam, or do you work with other Amsterdamers to develop the product? How how did that work? Um, great question. How this pretty much works is that since I'm a part of Amsterdam, since mm-hmm. I'm the ambassador slash member, I would like to call myself a member, and you know, no type of hierarchy exists as far as I'm concerned, uh, but. What I do is that we incorporate members to help out with the project. Uh, for instance, if I had a challenge ahead of me that required uh, some type of .NET or some type of uh, uh, Objective-C, uh, things of that nature, I would put a beacon out to our, our Amsterdam community and have someone chime in and help me uh, with that challenge and move it on from there. Uh, it just creates a holistic uh, point of view. We want to be able to, if, if, I'm ha- if I have a marketing question or if I have a technological question or if I just have a, a, a SEO question, we have a, a thriving community of these experts that's able to chime in and we can talk via Skype or uh, email, or whatever the case. So when I say it's powered by Amsterdam, that's exactly what it means. Okay, so it's like, a, in that respect, it's acting kind of like a... Um um, a, a trusted network, almost like a, I want to say like a like a, a trade group where everybody is in the same uh, industry and they can help each other and provide connections and, and things like that. Exactly, exactly. My point. Yep. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down with me, Randy. I really appreciate it. Thank you, and I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to Utastic, the interview, everything else that you guys going out and. We'll be uh, in touch soon about the upcoming events that we have going on. Great, great. I'll try to get those posted. Thanks. All right. Thank you. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugastic.com.